Uh, good morning, uh, our viewers and all our learners across the country. With you here is Mr. Wangai from uh, Mary Market, Kiamombe. I would like to do a topic uh, in mathematics, that is geometry, where I will start with the construction of circles touching the sides of a triangle and the side and the vertices of a triangle. And before I go direct to construction, I will take you through analysis of the KCP questions, the way they have been appearing. I will start with the year 2011. In 2011, they did not bring any question on a construction of a circle. In 2012, uh, they did not bring any question. In 2013, this is where they brought a question number 45. In 2014, they skipped that year. They did not bring any question. In 2015, there was a question on construction of a circle. That is question number 50. In 2016, there was also a question number 18. 2017, they did not bring a question on circles touching the vertices or the sides of a triangle. In 2018, there was a question that was in number 34. In 2019, that is last year, they also skipped. If you look at this thread, in 2011, no question, 2012, no question, 2013, there was question number 45. And this question, it was circle touching the sides, circle touching the sides, and that is the sides of a triangle. And this question, you are supposed to measure the radius. You're supposed to give the measurement of the radius. In 2015, it was also touching the sides. And again, here you are supposed to measure the radius of the circle. In 2016, it was a circle touching the vertices. And again here, you are supposed to measure the radius. When I will come to construction, I will explain the difference between this and this one, because that is where our learners get lost. In 2018, they ask about touching the sides, touching the sides. And this time round, they asked about the measuring of diameter. So if you look at this one, the circle touching the sides, you measure the radius. In 2015, circle touching the sides, you also measure the radius. In 2016, circle touching the vertices, you measure the radius. And in 2018, circle touching the sides and you measure the diameter. If you look from uh, 2013, you will see 2013 there was a question, 2014 no. 2015 there was a question, 2016 there was a question, 2017, no. 2018, there was a question. 2019, no. So in 2020, we are expecting to get a question on a circle touching the sides or circle touching the vertices. So I will go to my first question. And I hope all the learners have their geometrical sets 
It is there on their table. And uh, I'm going to read out the question. Construct triangle JKF. Construct triangle JKF in which JK is equals to 4 centimeters, KF 5.6 centimeters, and angle JKF 120 degrees. Draw a circle that passes through the point JKF. Measure the radius of the circle. After reading the question, go step by step. You have a triangle J. KF, that is the triangle that you are required to construct, in which JK is equal to 4 centimeters and uh, KF, KF is equal to 5.6 centimeters and uh, angle JKF, angle JKF is equals to 120 degrees. Now you have this information. The most important thing is you start by drawing a line. Draw a long line. Don't, don't mind the length of the line. You just draw a straight line any length and then come and uh, look at the measurement which has the longest measurement that is KF take KF to be your base and uh, on this one when you are measuring the length take your compass your compass and then you go to your ruler and you start measuring from zero some learners here confused and start measuring from one start measuring from zero and then you measure 5.6 after measuring your 5.6 you have your compass ready with the measurement don't cheat it come Leave a small space on these sides and then dunga hapo. Put an arc there, a small arc. Then come onto that arc. Dunga hapo. Weka another arc there. Toa. Put your compass down. Label that point. That is. K, F, this is 5.6 centimeters. After you have done uh, with that, come and look at the angle. They have given you an angle here, which is J, K, F. We usually look at the center one. This is where we use or we place our protractor. Our protractor has the center. And your protractor here, there at home, it has somewhere where it is like a cross. Msalaba. Wekelea hapa vizuri. To cover that part and the line on your protractor ensure he meenda hivi imelalia hiye nyume construct. And the one that is running vertically, then, when it comes to measurement, this is another point where our learners go wrong. You see, we have two scales. We have the outer scale and we have the inner scale. How do you know the scale that you are going to use? It is very easy. If you look at my protractor on my right hand side, it has a left a space from here where we have F. This is the side that has a space. So we are going to look at the scale that starts with the zero on this side. I'm going to repeat. On this side, 
on our right hand side, it is where our protractor has left a space. And it is not this space. We are not interested with this space. It is from here to where we put our arc. So on this side where we have a space, this is where we look at the scale that starts with a zero. And our scale here, it will be the inner scale. So move with the inner scale. We have 120 degrees. Move with the inner scale until where you have 120. Put a mark there. Yeah, put a mark there and ensure that that mark is visible. You can see it. After putting the mark, take your ruler, the straight ruler, and then come to K straight. Bira kutetemeka. Draw a straight line. A long one. Don't, uh, don't care where it will go. Just draw a long line. And then this angle here, it is 120 degrees. Now we have our angle, which is 120 degrees. That is J. We don't know where J will be, but we know where K is. That is 120 degrees. From K to J, it is 4 centimeters. Take your compass. Again, measure four centimeters. Measure four centimeters. There you go with your four centimeters. Come to where we have K. Dunga hapakwa K. Put an arc there. After putting that arc, take your pencil and join. This is the point now we call J. Join J and F. Now we have our triangle there. That is our triangle J, K, F. Here is four centimeters. Our question is asking us, measure, uh, draw a circle that passes through point J, K, F. So this one is the circle that I'm touching the vertices. Vertices, if you have your triangle here, these are the vertices. These are the vertices. Don't confuse yourself and use this one as the vertices. These are called the edges. These are the edges. So our vertices are this one, which are sharp pointed. Even in our cuboid, where we have it like that, these are are our vertices, the pointed ones. So let's go to the construction of the circle touching the vertices. And on this one, when we are constructing the circle touching the vertices, one, we bisect the lines. We bisect the lines. And what is to bisect? To bisect is to divide into two equal parts. Divide into two equal parts. That is to bisect. How do we bisect the lines? This one is very easy. Take your compass, place it where you have K, more than half of line KF, more than a half. You don't have to use a ruler to measure. Just use your eyes and measure and uh, 
see where we have more than a half. Draw a very big, not a semicircle, it's more than a semicircle, more than a quadrant. Draw it like that. There. After drawing like that, ensure you have another pen. Here where you have started, you don't have to repeat. Put a star. Put a star. And uh, you take, without changing the measurements, come to where we have uh, F. There. Cut there. And there. Very easy. There and there. So on that, you come and take your ruler. And here I do advise our learners, please don't use a pencil. Use a different color. You can even use a red barrel to draw this. They are called perpendicular bisectors. Put your ruler straight. Restraint, then draw. Okay. Now I have my perpendicular bisector. I hope you have not yet changed the measurement of your compass. And here you have used this part. So put a star. You won't come back to this part again. After that, you have not touched J. So come to J, Dunga, put an arc on uh, this semicircle we made there and there. You can see the reason as to why we don't change the measurement. You see now it has come on this side. So you can come back here and extend this thing. You can extend it there until it touches our arc. Then take your red barrel, join. Gently join. After joining, you have seen this is the point where this perpendicular bisector and uh, this perpendicular bisector they have meant. Put that or call that point O. This point call it point O. After calling it point O, this will be the center of our circle. This one, point O, here. There, you take now your compass, you can change the side. Dunga hapo. Then touch one of the sides. There, you can touch there, and then you can draw your circle smartly. Pole pole. Our blackboard here is too small, so I'll just move. You can see I'm also struggling to draw this circle. For you as a learner, because you are being examined during the examination, now that you have this knowledge, you don't have to come and draw that circle and start moving with your compass. Because after putting your compass at where the perpendicular bisectors met, that is our point O, and touched 
one of the vertices there, this is the radius of the circle. Come and measure it on your ruler. Measure it on your ruler and then you get our radius is coming to 4.8. It's coming to 4.8. So our radius is 4.8 centimeters, meaning our diameter is twice this one. That is, you can just add 4.8 plus 4.8. That is 6.19. Or even multiply by 2. You get our diameter is 9.6 centimeter. But all the same, our question was asking us about the radius. So this one was just by the way. Um, I will go to our next question. So that where you do not understand on this one, you will at least now move with me. And this time round, I will go slowly by slowly. I won't rush. And our question reads, construct triangle MNP, construct triangle MNP, Triangle M N P in which M N is equals to N P is equals to five point two centimeters and angle M N P is equals to forty five degrees. Draw a circle that passes through the three vertices M N and P measure the radius of the circle. We have uh, our triangle M, N, P, uh, the triangle, and then uh, in which M, N is equals to N, P is equals to 5.2 centimeters. And angle, angle M N P is equals to 45 degrees. Draw a circle that passes through the three vertices. It is obvious. Start by drawing a long line. Just draw a long line. There it is. Then come here. We have MN is equals to NP is equals to 5.2 centimeters. This means that there are two sides which are equal. MN and NP. Both of them are 5.2 centimeters. So, in the recent here, we are constructing an isosceles triangle. Take your compass. After taking your compass, look at this angle, because this is the one which is going to guide us. We have N, which is at the center. This N, this is where I told you we are going to place the protractor. The protractor will be placed at N. So we can use MN or NP, which is 5.2. Measure 5.2 centimeters. Measure 5.2 centimeters. You have your 5.2 centimeters and this 5.2 centimeters you just come here leave a space leave a small space and then 
you place it there, put an arc, just a small arc, one, then come where we have the arc, put another arc, then label those points, this is M, M, N, M, N. And a MN is 5.2 centimeters. 5.2 centimeters. Come to angle MNP, which is 45 degrees. Now we go where we have an N. It is on our far end here. So on this one is where we are going to place our protractor the way I told you we have uh, where we have the cross you come and place it there gently if you look at now our protractor our left hand side it is the one that has a space so on this side is where we are going to use the scale that starts from zero. And the scale here, it is the outer scale. So we go zero, zero, we have 40, 45. So just put a dot, which is visible. Put your protractor down, take your ruler, and then draw a long line don't mind how far it will go. You have your line like that. Then come back to your information. We have a MN is equals to NP. So from N to where we have P, we don't know where P is. We measure 5.2 centimeters. Take your compass, again measure 5.2 centimeters. There it is. Then come here, put an arc. Just a small arc. Then put your compass down. Join this part where we call it P which is also 5.2 centimeters. Join P with M. Then you join it like that. We have now our triangle M, N, P. And this angle here, it is 45 degrees. Now we come to the construction of the circle. Take your compass. Put it at M. More than a half of this line. Over there. Then put that big. It doesn't have a name. Because you cannot call it a quadrant. You cannot call it a semicircle, it's more than a quadrant, more than a semicircle. Just put it gently like that. After putting it, you won't come back to this point. Hapa umetoka. Go to N. Kuja kwa N, dunga, kata, hapo, kata, hapo chini. Then you draw the perpendicular bisectors. And I said here you can use a biro. It doesn't matter. Because if you use a pencil, sometimes you get confused where the perpendicular bisectors meet. So you come and put it straight. Be very accurate. Draw our perpendicular bisector. It is there. This point, 
umekuwa hapa so hapa hutarudi tena the only point that you have not touched it is this point you come there without changing the measurement of the compass kuja hapa then put put an arc there and another arc there so you put an arc on that in and then there then you join the two still using a different color come draw draw it You see the our perpendicular bisectors they have met somewhere call this point O this is now our center point O take your protractor no your compass kuja hapa dunga mahali ambapo the, the perpendicular bisectors zimekutana uzisha one of the that is there it is so you can draw your circle vizuri that gently you see mine is touching all the vertices it's only that they are not visible so this is the radius of our circle and that is how is it is to construct a circle touching the vertices after using these points to have a, to bisect this line because you can see we have bisected this line if you measure from here to here it is the same as from here to here so we have bisected this line into two equal parts so you come here you put an arc there and there then you draw the perpendicular bisect it is as easy as that let me go to constructing circle touching the sides constructing circle touching the sides This is the construction of a circle circle touching the sides Under this one if you can remember we have said the other one it is we bisect the line but on this one we bisect angles the other one for for touching the the vertices and for touching the vertices we have said you bisect the lines una bisect lines kwa ile lakini kwa hii una bisect angles and if you look at our kcp 2010 2011 2012 2013 there were so many questions there were each each year there was a question on bisecting angles so you should know how to bisect angles and i will go direct to our question which i will read construct triangle abc construct triangle abc in which bc is equals to 7 cm angle abc is equals to 55 degrees and angle bca is equals to 50 degrees draw a circle that touches lines a b b c and a c 
What is the radius of the circle? You just do the same. Write down the information. We have triangle A, B, C, in which B, C, B, C is equals to seven centimeters. Angle A, B, C, angle A, B, C is equals to 55 degrees. And angle B, C, A, angle B, C, A is equals to 50 degrees. This is the information that is going to guide us. If you look here, we have two angles. We have one line, which is BC, 7 centimeters. So we are going to draw a long line. We are going to draw a long line. The way I see it, don't mind how far it will go. Hey, chora tu la in mrefu. There. After drawing that line, you take your compass. You take your compass, which uh, has developed some problems, so I'm going to uh, use it. So, one minute, and then I get the compass back so that continue to construct here. And uh, as I wait for my protractor to come, you can continue constructing uh, the triangle. And then when you get lost, you will see me constructing it here. So you can continue. And as I, we wait for the protractor, I can take you through the number of, question, of questions that have appeared in uh, KCP since 2010. In 2010, there were three questions. That is number 13. I don't want to confuse you, so I won't write. So in 2010, there were three questions about constructions. In 2011, three questions. That is combined constructions. The combined constructions. That is the program, the robbers. In 2012, there were two questions. In 2013, there were three questions. In 2014, there were two questions. In 2015, there were three questions. In 2016, there were two questions. In 2017, there were two questions. In 2018, there were two questions. And in 2019, there were two questions. So there is no way you will miss a question about constructions. Thank you. So let us continue. You have already drawn the line. And those who are progressing, let us say BC 7 centimeters. Take your compass, measure seven centimeters. Seven centimeters. Leave a small space on this side. Then place your compass there. Put an arc. Then go there. Put an arc there. Then you call those points. It is B, C. So B, C, which is 7 centimeters. If you look at 
our information here, we have angle A, B, C, which is 55 degrees, and we have B, C, A, 50 degrees. We are very much concerned about our center letter. Here it is B. So we'll go direct there with our protractor. Here I told you, your protractor has a cross somewhere. Place it here gently and ensure you have a pen. That is not a pen, a pencil. Put it gently. You see, this is the side that has been left with a space from here to here. So we are going to check the scale that has started from zero on this side. And this is our inner scale. So we read 55 degrees. 40, 50, 55 degrees. Put a dot there. Then take your long ruler and then uh, draw. Draw a long line. There it is. After drawing that line, go now to the other angle, B, C, A, 50 degrees. Again, take your protractor, place it where we have C. Galea took to me a macho, he said, kutoka hapa, hapa, mpaka hapa, jo imebakina space. So we are going to look at the scale that has started from zero on this side. And it is the outer scale. That is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Then put a dot there. Then take your ruler. Draw that straight line. There you go. So this point is going to be our point A. So we have our triangle A, B, C. Here is 55 degrees. And here is 50 degrees. Let us now draw our circle touching the sides. And here, our sides are A, B, this line, we have B, C, this line, and we have A, C, this line. So our circle is going to be here inside. On, it touches this line, touches this line, and it touches this line. And I said on this one, we are going to bisect the angles. And how do we bisect the angles? It is almost opposite to the other one because now the other one we are using more than a half of this line. On this case, we are going to use less than a half. No problem. Just cut that line there and there. After doing that, kuja kwa hii, panua kompas yako iende inje ya triangle. Hapo. Weka ak. Kuja kwa hii, ingine ak. Weka. After kuweka hivo, use a different color to draw this line. Hii line ni wambi inaitua perpendicular bisector kutoka hapa kwa B na hapa katikati mahali hizi zimekata chore vizuri there is my perpendicular bisector if you can see here I have bisected this angle and this angle into two and I have just come here Less than a half, nikakata hapo, nikakata hapo. Nikatumia hii, nikadunga hapa, 
nikafungua nje ya triangle nikakata hapo nikakuja hapa chini nje ya triangle nikakata hapo then after doing that you go to where we have point C again the same very easy raisi sana dunga hapo less than a half kata hapo kata hapo then dunga hapo fungua your compass mod inje weka hapo toe hapa juu udunge then ukate after kukata uchukue a different color even if it is a biro ukuje hapa mahali hizi lines zimekutana hapo wekele and then here on point C then you draw you can see i have bisected this line uh, this angle into two hii na hii ukipima you will get this one is 25 this one is 25 and you can see where our perpendicular bisectors have met here call this point o yite o after umeita o chukua compass yako pole pole gently kuja dunga hapa then uza one of the sides there then you can draw your circle and draw your circle and if you can look at that circle it is touching the three sides and don't change this is the radius of our circle kuja kwa ruler from zero pima and then you will get you will get your measurement mine is giving me You give me 1.8. Our radius is 1.8 cm. 1.8 cm. So, on this one you can you can just use your ruler So our radius here is 1.8 cm meaning that our diameter will be 3.6 cm but our question was asking what is the radius of the circle so this one the learners there at home you can get 1.9 cm or you can get 1.7 cm we have plus or minus 0.1 ha uh, let me go to another question on uh, still circle touching the sides Circle touching the side. And I read, construct triangle PQR in which lines P 
PQ is equals to 55, uh, no, 5.5 centimeters. QR is equals to 8 centimeters. And the angle PQR is equals to 90 degrees. Draw a circle whose circumference will touch lines PQ, QR, and PR. What is the radius of the circle? So get your information. We have a construct triangle PQR in which lines PQ is equals to 5.5 centimeters. QR QR is equals to 8 centimeters. And angle PQR angle PQR is equals to 90 degrees. Some learners may ask, how do we know that the circle is touching the sides or the circle is touching the vertices? If you look at uh, our information here, we have been told, draw a circle whose circumference, circumference, this, or this round, this is the circumference, touching lines PQ. PQ QR and PR. Very easy. This is the information that will lead you to knowing what you are supposed to do. Let us go to our construction. I'm sure there at home you have already drawn a long line. You are waiting for me to continue. So draw a long line. There it is. After drawing that one, now come to our information. We have PQ 5.5, QR 8 centimeters. I usually like using the longer side to be my base. And here I'm going to use 8 centimeters. So measure 8 centimeters. And I sure you use your ruler well. Don't use the inches. Yeah. Have 8 centimeters. Eight centimeters. Leave a space on this side. Come. Put an arc there. Then come here. Put an arc there. That is our line, which is QR. So QR eight centimeters. You are eight centimeters. Then we have PQ 5.5 centimeters. This one we are not going to use now because we have an, uh, an angle here. So we are going first to measure this angle and we are going to look at our center letter, which is Q. That is where we are going to place our protractor. Here at Q. The same, ule musaraba ni wambia, ukate tu kwa hii. Na ya wakikisha imelalia alaini vizuri. There it is. And then, after placing it straight. This is the side which has a space between where your protractor has reached and where we have put an arc. So we are going to look at the scale which starts from zero on this side. And it is the inner scale. And we are going to measure 90 degrees. Okay. There, 
Our 90 degrees is here. Put a dot. Remove your protractor. And then take your ruler. Draw a long line. Na hiyo line ipitie juwe hiyo dot. Nyenye umeweka. So, this one is 90 degrees. It is our right angle. There. Then we have PQ. Now, PQ. We have Q. So, P lazima itakuwa kwa hii line. But we don't know itakuwa wapi. So, we come and take our protractor and we measure 5.5 centimeters. There it is. Then come here and then put an arc on that line. Then call that point P. After calling it P, then you join you join P to R so that you get a triangle. This and this. There. We have now our triangle. Our triangle P Q R. Let us go to construction of the circle touching the sides. Very easy. Answer hapa. Less than a half. Yo yo. Kata hapo. Kata hapo. Then, chukua. Dunga hapo umeweka. Panua your compass outside there. The triangle. Put an arc there. Then on this one. Put an arc there. Then put your compass down. Take your long ruler and also a different color. Then place gently. Place it gently. Then draw the perpendicular bisector. There it is, our perpendicular bisector. There it is. I have bisected this angle. I have bisected it. And I said bisecting is dividing it into two equal parts. So I have bisected this angle. Then I, I take my compass again. I come to R. R less than a half. Then I cut there and there. Then I take it there, outside the triangle, put an arc there, come there, put another arc there. You can see where the two have met. Take the color you are using, draw the perpendicular bisector. There, I have bisected this angle. And you can see the two perpendicular bisectors, they have met here. Call this point O. Then take your compass. There at the center. There. Then reduce it. Touch one of the sides. There. And then you draw, you draw the circle. Draw 
ड्रो द साको जेंटली ड्रो द साको जेंटली सन इज टीचिंग and to avoid wasting all your time you will come and find that this this is the radius of that circle during the examination or during your kcp don't struggle so much the way i'm struggling here with uh, my compass just measure this and uh, you'll find that mine is coming to one uh, 1.6 centimeters so our radius here will be 1.6 centimeters so you are there at home it can be 1.7 centimeters or it can be 1.5 centimeters it should not go to 1 cm or 0.9 or 2 cm this one they are wrong but you can get 1.7 1.5 and 1.6 i'll go to my last question uh my last question reads on the line Q R given below on the line Q R given below on the line Q R given below construct triangle P Q R in which Q R is equals to 6 cm P R is equals to 4.5 cm and angle PRQ is equals to 120 degrees construct a circle that passes through P Q and R on this one i would like you to try it there at home that is the line given there it is just a line drawn just a line drawn and then you are told that line is 6 cm so on the line qr q r on the line qr given below construct a triangle pqr in which qr is equals to 6 cm pr 4.5 cm and angle PRQ is equals to 120 degrees construct a circle that passes through P Q and R eh i would also want you to try these KCP papers uh questions that is in 2013 attempt question number 45 in 2015 attempt question number 50 in 2016 attempt question number 18 and uh, in 2018 question number 34 these questions will give you enough skills not really enough skill but they will give you skills on how kcp is tested if you want to do more practice you can go to primary mathematics you can go to primary mathematics book 8 there are so many questions there and also primary mathematics book 7 there are questions if you tackle all the questions which are in primary math book 8 and primary math book 7 i'm sure 
you will have uh, courage to tackle our KCP. Okay. There at home, what I can just tell you, just get courage. Don't uh, panic because we have uh, this coronavirus. Our God is going to make it come to an end and we are going to go back to our schools and continue with the learning and you will pass your examination. Here at KUTV, Elimu Live, 